Hello, BZ people, and welcome to our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke Challenge. Um, this will be the first episode in this challenge. So, um, what is a Nuzlocke? Well, a Nuzlocke is a set of self-imposed rules that um, are usually... There's three of them, and I'll go over them for you. Um, the first rule is that the first Pokemon that you come across in each route is the only one you can capture on that route. Um, now, there is a thing known as Dupes Claws, which means if I already own a, or have captured a Pokemon of uh, the same type I've encountered, I can choose to re-encounter if I want to. Um, there's also a thing known as Species Claws. Uh, if I have a Pokemon of an evolution line that I encounter, I can choose to have another encounter. For example, if I uh, if I have a Squirtle and I come across a Blastoise, I can choose to have a different encounter other than the Blastoise. Um, if I run away from that, this first encounter, if I cause it to faint, or if I just plain run out of Pokeballs trying to catch it, I forfeit my encounter for that route. Um, second rule is, if your Pokemon faints, you can not use, or uh, it, it's dead, you cannot use it any longer. Um, you have to place it in your PC box, or you have to um, release it. I will be doing putting them in boxes, so that we can look at it and remember all the fallen comrades we've had. Um, and the third rule of a Nuzlocke is that you have to nickname all your Pokemon. Now, I'm actually going to be uh, looking to see you guys for some help for this. Um, I want to, if you have any suggestions for nicknames for Pokemon, uh, leave them in the comments section. Um, the nickname writer is a thing, so if you give me a nickname for a Pokemon and I already named them, um, I can go back and change it. Um, and also, I have some little additional rules because with the way that this game works, um, there are certain items that are useless, like revives. Um, so I've made it so that I can... Ca uh, revives are like tokens. I can cash a revive in for a, an extra encounter on a route. Because, you know, nothing's more fun than catching more Pokémon. Um, max revives I can use to bring back a dead Pokémon from the PC. Um, and rare candies, since if a Pokemon is down to zero HP, if you use a rare candy on it, it will revive it with a hand, little bit of HP. Uh, those can, can bring back anyone who is fainted and currently still in my party. Um, if you guys don't like these rules, if you just want me to play Nuzlocke the normal way, leave that in the comments section and I will do so. But I, I think we've done enough talking. Um, oh, one more point. Um, this is a randomizer, which means I have a program that has made it so that every single Pokemon has been replaced with another random one. So, I'm not going to be starting with a Pikachu, uh, my opponent's not going to start with an Eevee. What are we going to start with? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Um, I will admit, say that um, each of us will start out with a basic Pokemon with two stages of evolution. Um, and that um, everything is random. And so don't forget about the All-Star match coming to you on Saturday. It's not too late to leave your votes for who you want to see on the team. Um, I want to build this team based off what you want. Two from our OU team, two from our UU team, one from our RU team, and one from our NU team. So, go ahead and leave your votes down below. Let's get started with this story. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Well, obviously, I am Bork. So let's get some lowercase in there. And the ORK. 
Uh, you may not know this, but Bork is actually short for Borkhart, which is my last name. It was a nickname I got in high school, and I found out later on in life that Bork is actually German for Powerful Protector, so I really like that nickname. Right, your nickname is Bork. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. I, I know he, you two have been rivals since infancy, but I don't remember what his name is. Well, obviously my rival would have to be Joe. I mean, he is... Oh no, wait, I'm sorry. My rival would have to be Zim, because he's my co-conspirator on the channel. So let's go ahead and get Zim in there. That's right, I remember now, his name is Zim! Bork, your very own Pokémon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokémon awaits. Let's go! Okay, so we're starting off in our house. Let's go ahead and withdraw the potion. Always gotta get the potion. Um, so that's it. Um, I do apologize if the game sounds sound a little off. Um, unfortunately, the ROM that I have is stuck at running at 150 speed. Um, if this is something that you guys you just want me to leave the music off, um, I will. This is my first time playing Pokemon Yellow, though, so I'm kind of excited. That was close. Well, Pokemon live in tall grass. What's our starter going to be? We get to start with a Ghastly! That's pretty awesome! A ghost type, where most Pokemon in the beginning only have uh, normal type moves, so we won't be hit by a whole lot. Um, so, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited, Ghastly. Let's go find out what our rival's going to start with. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Zim, why are you here already? Gosh, my memory's just not what it used to be. Oh, I said for you to come by later. Oh, that's right, I got you the special thing. The Pokeball that can't be found here. Dog, whatever, just wait there. Look, Bork, do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball, and it holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Gramps, what about me? Don't be patient, Sim, but I'll give you the good one later. The one from Hoenn. You know, the... Th or Johto? Well, let's go see what our new Pokemon is. And Zim shows us all the way. No way, Borg. I want this Pokemon. Zim snatched the Pokemon. Zim, what are you doing? Gramps, I want this one. But I... Oh, all right then. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyway. Bork, come over here. Bork, this is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild, and it's not tame yet. Bork received a Ghastly. Do you want to give a nickname to Ghastly? I do. I do. I think I want to call our Ghastly... Here he's scary, he's a ghost. Um, let's name him a Shinigami. Which, if any of you watch many of the animes, it's a god of death, usually a ghost that no one can see. And I'm sure I'm going to spell this wrong. I don't think there's an M in that. So let's go Shinigami. And if I spelled it wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comment section down below. But let's go ahead and get our first battle started with our rival. Let's see what he's going to start with. What we're going to be facing off against throughout this whole episode. Zim wants to fight. And he sends out a bell sprout. Whoa. And Ghastly, let's see what your moveset is. Confused right? Nice shade and lick. Not bad. Not bad. Got you a little confused there. 
and Bellsprout knows growth. Uh, did that just take up a special? I thought I was supposed to take special and physical. Confused. Growth. I suppose it's only special because grass is special in this gen. Oh, and the Bellsprout hurt itself. So, um... Obviously, we're taking a break somewhat from uh, Pokemon Showdown. I mean, yes, it is going to show up on Saturdays. Um, and um, so if there's any other games that you want me to play, or you want Zim to play, or you want me and Zim to play, uh, would you, uh, leave it in the comments section. We want to do what you got, or bring to the channel what you guys want to see. Which, look at that! It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. I, I don't have a Pikachu. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You could talk to it and see how it feels about you. Okay, well, let's go find out how our Ghastly feels. Uh, and let's see... Let's get another potion. Okay, we got our potion. Now we'll head to town. Oh, and there's Grimers on this route. Um, I have seen through other YouTubers' uh, playthroughs that Grimer and Sludge is, or not Sludge, but Muck is pretty gosh darn amazing. Oh, we, it disables a random one. I forgot about that in this generation. Let's see here, Grimer doesn't, can't hurt me, we're no longer disabled, so let's go ahead and Nightshade. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a bit about just random stuff. Uh, if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about while going through this playthrough, leave them in the comment section. I. I'll talk about pretty much anything that you want me to, and might as well go ahead and heal. Um, so some of you might be wondering, why did you decide that you want to get into YouTube and making videos like this? Well, to be honest, um, I st found uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke um, on this on YouTube. Uh, first through a YouTuber named Patters. Um, he's British, and he's done a lot of really interesting things. Um, I kind of got away from him in recent time because um, he does... He, he's not the cleanest person. He does, on occasion, swear. Um, well... Ooh, we have a chance to catch a Charmeleon. Uh, that's... that's pretty awesome. I hope he shows up again once we get Pokeballs. Um, oh, some of you might be thinking, well, you're not getting any encounters because you've already encountered Pokemon on Route 1. The Nuzlocke rules don't start until we get Pokeballs. So, uh, and until I get Pokeballs, these encounters don't count. If I faint, it doesn't count. Um, so that is the way that the game works. So, oh, we took out the Charmeleon. We grew to level 7. I'm really liking this Ghastly Starter. Um, we'll do a little more story, then I'll get back to talking to what I was talking about. Oh, Bok! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems I like you a lot. Wait, this was a random Pokemon you caught in the wild that you gave to me. You must be as talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Or delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, oh, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thanks, Spork. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. Gramps! Gramps, my Pokemon has grown stronger. Check it out. Ah, oh, Sim, good timing. I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. Up on the desk there is my invention. The Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! Bork and Zim, take these with you. Bork got Pokedex from Oak! 
to make a complete guide in all the Pokémon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokémon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it to me. All to me. Bork, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Bork. Ha 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 um, yeah, I got into Pokemon, or YouTube, through that, um, and then uh, I moved on to another guy known as Game Boy Luke, um, he had some interesting stuff too, um, uh, okay, I wouldn't mind catching that, um, especially I saw he did something known as a chain lock, which is something I definitely want to bring to the channel eventually, I want to do that. But it definitely works better with um, later gen games because the way it works is you can only catch Pokemon that you have the type of in your party. So as you catch more Pokemon and get more types on your team, you have the ability to capture more types. So that was really, really neat and I definitely want to do one of those probably 4th or 5th gen. Um, And, um, you know, looking at it now, I think that O oh, should be an A in Shinigami. Um, but, um, so yeah, I want to do one of those. Luke was an uh, influence on me. And then, uh, I found a guy named Shady Penguin. Um, I still watch him, not as much as I used to. I mean, I just don't have enough time with between work and editing videos and getting him up on the channel. Um, but he he's he's very clean, very, very entertaining. I would love to do a project with him someday. Um, and so uh, if you haven't seen anything from Shady Penguin and you like Pokemon videos, I highly suggest you go check him out. He does a lot of battling, let's plays, um, he's actually in some Pokemon leagues, so you can watch that. It's kind of like the sports version of Pokemon competition. They even have drafts for their teams. Um, and, you know, Shady really made me want to do this. Um, okay, apparently I cannot walk sideways over there. So we'll go up here to the Mart. Uh, my goal for this episode is there are... One, two, three, four encounters we can get, and I would like to get those out of the way, and once I get my last encounter, I will end the episode off. So let's get a Paralyzed Heal, and I think that's, yep, that's all we can afford, so let's go and get this Nuzlocke started. So, the first potential member of our team is... a Graveler! I'm really hoping he doesn't have self-destruct, but he's level 7! Wow! That would be great to get on the team! Okay, I think we can get another two of those off without worrying about causing them to faint. Oh, I do not want to risk that, so I am going to throw a Pokeball right now. Yes! And we caught the Graveler! Um, now... Oh! Graveler, the rock Pokemon! Often seen rolling down mountain trails. Obstacles are just things to roll straight over, not to void. Do you want to give a nickname to Graveler? Yes. Um, if this was Gen 2 or later, I would call them Autobots, because Geodude and Graveler learn Rollout. So, Autobots, roll out! But, um... You know what, I'm gonna call them that anyway. Autobots.
Okay, time to go get our next encounter. Um, I tried doing a Nuzlocke video before, but I things just kept going wrong. One record properly, my guys kept dying. First episode, um, so I just couldn't get it to go. Um, I'm hoping this Nuzlocke will last considerably longer than that first effort since I died first encounter. Oh, a Lickitung! I never have had a team with a Lickitung, and ironically... Oh, right, Ghost-type moves doesn't affect normal types. So, let's use Nightshade. And get you down a little more. I really don't want to try uh, hurting you anymore, because I don't want to lose anything. Okay, we caught two members for our team. So, what should we nickname this Lickitung? Its tongue spans about seven feet and moves more freely than its forelegs. Its licks can cause paralysis. So, we have a lick a tongue. It's got a big tongue. Uh, I want to name you something clever, something funny. Unfortunately, all that's coming to mind is Kiss. Uh, and James Simmons. I know. I'll call you Yoshi, because Yoshi has a big tongue. Or maybe I should call you Piccolo, because Goku thinks he's a Yoshi in uh, Pokemon... Ab or not Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z Abridged. So there we go. We have Yoshi, we have Graveler, we have Ghastly. Now there's... Oh, I've had my coffee now and I feel great! Sure you can go through! I'm sorry I was so rude to you! I see you using a Pokedex! I'll show you how to catch Pokemon, it's my apology! I, I already have caught two, and you still get Ratatos. This is so much faster than most of them. Oh, that didn't work. I must be losing my touch. I've run out of Pokeballs, too. I have to get some at Pokemon Mart. Okay, so we get two more encounters this episode. Um... Let's see. Oh, right away we're going to get a chance at a Kangasan. It's, it's a good, good, uh, good mod. Very, very good mod. And he's stuck in rage, so he can't hurt us at all. He's not stuck in rage? I thought Gen 1 it was a move that stuck. Oh, is he going to be impossible to catch? Yeah, I think he is. Come on, please stay in, Kangaskhan. Uh, okay, one more Pokeball. Okay, let's check out our other Pokemon and see what they have. Tackle and Defense Curl. That's not going to be particularly helpful. Wrap is Supersonic, so nothing that will really help. Okay, I'm going to throw one more Pokeball, and then unfortunately... You know what? I got three more Pokeballs, and I got a Max Elixir I can sell to get more. Kangaskhan, please, please come with us. Oh, Kangaskhan, you know you want to be our friend. Oh, this is our last chance. Last Pokeball, I'm glad I kept throwing them. Okay, so let's see what Kangaskhan's Pokedex entry says. Raises its young in its belly pouch. Won't run from any fight to keep its young protected. So, that sounds kind of like a mama bear. So, I kind of want to call you Grizzly. I kind of want to call you Ma Grizzly. Yeah, 
There's the space. I think it'll just fit. Ma Grizzly. Right, I don't want to accidentally wander into Viridian Forest without any Pokeballs, because then we'd forfeit our encounter! That's silly. Um... Alright, so, the way that this is going to work is, um... I'm only going to be carrying three Pokemon with me at first. Um... What? Max Elixirs you can't sell? Oh, this is not good. This this is not good. How much can I sell a Paralyzed Heal for? Not even enough for a Pokeball. Okay, so I'll sell two potions. And a Paralyzed Heal. That'll be enough for two Pokeballs. And we gotta hope that either we can get some items before we encounter any Pokemon to sell, or that we get lucky and can catch them with our first two Pokeballs. So... Oh, I forgot to heal everyone. I'll do that in between episodes. Okay, final encounter is going to be... That's not going to sell for anything. Our final encounter is an Execute. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I think licking you would kill you, so let's just Nightshade. And one more Nightshade just to be safe. Please don't faint. Okay, good, good. He just put us to sleep. Okay. Will you stay in this Pokeball? You did. Alright. Okay. Awesome. Awesome Pulsum. The heads attract each other and spin around. There must be six heads for it to maintain balance. So they just spin in circles? Okay, um, let's see here. What do I want to name Execute? Six pack, abs, um, seeds. I'm gonna call you Scrambled. Scrambled works. I think, don't you? Let's go... Ram... Bold. And there we go. So... Here are the first five members of our team. Um... Now, the way that I'm going to do this is... I'm going to pick three of these guys to be on my team and to get trained up um, and then we will progress from there after I get them all up to around level five or six or so um, and every time I defeat a gym leader I will either add someone onto my team or have the option of replacing someone this is my way of keeping it so I don't have to do a ton of extra grinding and um, we can keep the levels of our team pretty good. So, thank you for coming out and joining me. Um, if you enjoyed the Nuzlocke so far, leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. <coughs> if uh, the game volume is too loud and you can't hear me very well, leave that in the comment section and I will disable the volume and you'll just get to hear me talking the whole time. Um, if the fact that the music is sped up a little bit is making it difficult to listen to, let me know. Again, I will do what I can to get that changed for you, uh, or get it taken off, but, um, 
this has been the first episode of our Nuzlocke. I am uh, I'm excited that it's finally happening. That I didn't lose to the first Pokemon I met. Um, I think having a ghost type starter is a real help for that. Um, so this has been Pokemon Yellow Randomizer Nuzlocke Episode One. I am Bork from BZ Gaming, and just remember, BZ people, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette.